Welcome back to BadDragonProductions.com. Robert here. Today we're going to go over vertical menus. If you tuned in for the last lesson, we used this template to put together our horizontal menu here, the nav bar with the home, news, and contact us. We're going to put this same menu in the left margin. Now, if you'd like to download these lessons to follow along, you can get the uh, high definition um, videos without any commercials, coded or uh, commented and non commented code. Go out to baddragonproductions.com. Feel free to download these lessons. All right, we need to build a left margin. This is just the container here. We've got a body in and a right margin's put in, but we don't have a left margin. We're going to build the vertical menu in that. So we need to go to our style sheet and make our classes. So it's going to be hashtag left margin. And actually, for the sake of speed, we can just copy the right margin. It's going to be the exact same thing. Opening curly brace, we'll paste, and we'll float left. So if you do copy the code, copy and paste, be sure you change it. <clears throat> our margin top is 50 and our margin bottom is 50. The height's auto, so as you add additional links, it'll automatically get bigger. The, both the margins are 140 in width, and then the left is floated left and the right is floated right. So put your closing curly brace in. Save, and we can go back to the HTML and put in our div class. Here's our menu bar, container header, menu bar, links. So we're going to go with the left margin in this spot. So div ID. Left margin. I spelled margin wrong. <laughs> we'll change that. Left margin. Refresh. I'm going to jump back to the style sheet and spell margin right. Okay. And then a closing div. Now everything in the left margin, the menu we're going to build is going to go inside this left margin. So be sure to move your div tag down. Refresh. Now it looks normal again because we blew that up with the typo. All right, now we have to build our classes, our left vertical menu classes, okay? Um, dot for class, left vertical menu, LV menu. Opening curly brace, closing curly brace. Now our left menu, we're going to have a top border to start with, and I'll show you why here in a minute. But border top. And it'll be one pixel, solid, gray. Okay. We're going to float it left. It's going to, again, it's going to have a height of auto. And a width of 139. And I'll explain this a little more in a minute here when we get back to the style, or when we get back to the HTML. And then a list style type of none because we don't want the bullets to show up. It's just going to be a list, you know, an LI, a list item. We're not going to put a UL in it because the bullets are going to show up. Let's jump back to the HTML here for a minute. You remember when we put, uh, we put the unordered list in here and we had to do a list style type of none so the bullets didn't show up? We got to do the same thing here, and we're not going to build a UL like we did in the menu bar. We're just going to build just the list items. Okay, so we need to put our class in div class equals our left vertical menu, closing div, and then the list items are going to go inside this. So again, we need to move <clears throat> our divs down. 
of the menu close. And then I'm going to comment this other one as left margin close. Okay. So our list items now are going to be a li home closing li and again I'm just going to copy and paste these and then change them it's home news and contact us okay click refresh and there they are now these are just the list items it's not a menu yet it doesn't do anything yet because we haven't built it in the style sheet so now let's build and there's the top border I was talking about now this line right here it's hundred and thirty nine pixels long if it were longer it would stick into your body so the margin from the left container line to the inside left border of the main body the margin is 140, but because this left border of the main body is one pixel, that's why this line is 139. Let's jump back real quick, and if we put that at, let's just say, 150. See, it's only 150 now, and it doesn't go all the way across. I must have put the wrong number in there. Yeah, 150 px, my bad. See, and it sticks into the line here. It sticks into the main body. That's why this is only 139 pixels across. So it fits perfectly within that area. All right. Now, next, we need to put the characteristics of our list items. So it's left vertical menu, LB menu, list items. And the characteristics we're going to give them is a bottom border border bottom and it's going to be the same as this so we'll take this copy it paste it and a height again auto We'll jump back and then there's your lines so we did a bottom border of the list items so it's the bottom border of home the bottom border of news and the bottom border of contact us and the top border was the top border of the whole um, the whole div class LV menu so the LV menu top border and then the list items bottom borders that's what creates these lines okay so now we need to make the links those are the list items but now we want the links themselves home news and contact us to have some characteristics so again it's another class LV menu list items a for anchors or list or, or uh, links I mean and they're going to be displayed in block display block and what that does I'm not going to jump back there right now but what that does is it keeps um, it makes the whole area that the word sets in light up when we go over it let's see if it, it shows anything it's probably not going to show anything yet if we didn't have the display block when you hover over these it would just highlight the word like this in the background cover we designate in the background color we designate but as displayed block then anytime you mouse into this box at all the whole box will highlight that's what display block means <clears throat> so display block and we have to put some padding in it which is what's going to center the words our padding is going to be five pixels top 
by zero pixels to the right, by 10 pixels to the bottom, by five pixels to the left, okay? Top, right, bottom, left. The color, which is gonna be the text color, I just happen to know it's the same as this color, which is the background, so we're gonna use this, this color. And we'll see that in a minute. And then text decoration of none. We don't want the text to really do anything just by looking at it. When we hover it over it, we're going to have it underlined. So we'll save it. Go to live view. Now we still haven't, uh, here's our list items. Okay. But they're not links yet. We don't have the the anchors, the a href, www dot whatever. We don't have. They're not actually links yet. This part, this href, that's what's going to make them a link. But we want them to do something on hover. So we still have to make a hover for them. So it's going to be the same thing. Dot lb menu li colon hover. And this is what they're going to do when we hover over them. Okay. And we're going to have them turn to white. The text color itself, which is black right now, is going to turn to white. And the background color itself, which there is none right now, is going to be that orange again. So background color. And it's going to be the same color as... Um, where'd that color go? There it is. It's going to be the same color as this. Save. Now they're still not links, so it's still not going to do anything, but now we can build our links. So we need to go to our list items, put in your left chevron A, href equals, now we're going to use a pound sign like we did in the, the previous lesson, which makes it act like a link, but it refers to itself so it doesn't actually go anywhere. And then you're closing A, now it's an anchor. Excuse me, and then we're going to take this, copy it, and put it into each one of these. Paste, paste, save, refresh. And that's the block I'm talking about, but we, uh, we missed something. What did we miss? Okay, I see what I missed. My bad. This link. Your anchor, href a, home has to be within that anchor. And I, I put the anchors in the wrong spot. My bad. So we'll exit. Not exit, but I mean command x, cut it. And then we'll paste it on the other side and see if that works any better. Cut. Paste. Just hit copy. Paste. Cut. Paste. And click refresh. Ta da. Alrighty. And there you have it. Left vertical menu. Remember how I said the padding kind of centered it? And that's what we were talking about with the padding. If you go down here to padding, okay, if we, let's just say we put 25 and 20 and 10 and then 25, save that and you go back and then it just makes your block bigger. So if you wanted big blocks, but you wanted the word centered, you'd have to pad the word up. So what you're doing is putting padding in the very bottom of the block, which would push the word up. So if we put more bottom padding, which is top, right, bottom. So let's go 20 instead of 10. 
see it pushes the word up more into the center. So it just depends on how big of the how big of the buttons you want. <clears throat> if you were to take the padding right out, delete it, save it, go back and refresh, then it's just the size of the text. And they're pushed all the way up to the left because they're text align left. And I think I forgot to show you that I had missed this one. So we put in a text align left. If you put it to the right, see now they're text align right. But basically, um, kind of one of the one of the points that I wanted to make clear was that as soon as you go into the box, it highlights the whole thing. And that's from the display block. That's because of this, this line right here. If we take this line out, now it's just the word that highlights. And if you wanted the whole block to be the link, that's what you put the display block in for. So we'll put that display block back. Now I'm going to change the padding back again too, just because. I wanted the blocks just a little bigger and it was five pixels by zero pixels by 10 pixels by five pixels. And they look somewhat more centered in the block, not centered this way in the middle, but centered up and down. You could, you could put them text align center and they'd be centered or you could put a whole bunch of padding on the left of it which would push it over either way we'll we'll move your words so anyway there's your left vertical menu tune in next time same bat time same bat channel and we're going to go over some shadows I haven't put the video together yet but that's gonna be up soon and if you want to download any of the videos and all the code and the graphics the banners and the artwork used for the banners go to baddragonproductions.com we'll see you there thanks a lot See ya. Blue.